Hey everyone, it's nail time. <laughs> I'm excited to share this stuff with you about nails and all the different things that we can learn from them because they are a window to our health. It's really interesting. So what can you tell from your nails? A friend of mine said that anesthesiologists used to remove the nail polish to read the oxygen levels by looking at the nails before surgery. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if they still do that, but they used to do that. So take a look at your nails as we go through these different um, possibilities and see if any of these apply to you. So if you have abnormally thick nails, it may be due to the blood not circulating properly. A good essential oil also for circulatory support is cypress. It's used in raindrop therapy as well. If your nails have black splinter-like bits underneath the nails, that can indicate infectious endocarditis. And just to mention real quick, some of these places that I got this information was from a class that I took on, on our nails and then also and what the indicators can be. And then also from WebMD, you can also look at sources there and kind of compare. Okay, so the next one is black bands from the cuticle outward to the end of the nail if there's black bands there, that can be an early warning sign of melanoma. Something to look at there. The next one is brittle nails. That can indicate iron deficiency and thyroid problems. It can also indicate issues with kidneys or circulation. And so I also take thyromin supplement with Young Living and that's something to help uh, balance out and support the thyroid. If you have any cuts or cracks in the nails, that can indicate a need for more water. You may be a bit dehydrated. That's a not so hard one to fix, right? <laughs> um, if you have dark, thin, flat, or spoon-shaped, I know that's a lot there. Let's say that one again. If it's dark, thin, flat, or spoon-shaped nails, that can be a sign of vitamin B12 deficiency or anemia. I know mine seem a little bit flat, and because I lean vegan, um, I have to make sure I'm getting enough B12 because I don't really eat a lot of meat, you know, so I'm not getting it from that source. Although that meat source, um, usually nowadays the animals are getting um, injected with B12 anyway, so we don't always know what, how good that source of B12 is. Just our little side note on a nutritional thing there. So that can be the sign of B12 deficiency or anemia. If the nails are dry and brittle together, both those things together, dry and brittle, <laughs> it can indicate a lack of vitamin A and calcium. If the entire nail is white, what does that mean? It can indicate kidney or liver disorders or anemia. So good things to look at there. If it's just flat, that can indicate circulatory issues, including if your limbs are continuously cold. If it's greenish, if it's green, if you have some green tints in your fingernails, I bet you can guess what that is. <laughs> but uh, so that can indicate fungal infections, bacterial infections, or possibility of needing additional probiotics. Um, we have in Young Living, we have Life 9 probiotics that are really good. The next one on the list is half white nail with dark spots on the tip. That can indicate kidney disorders. So half white nail with dark spots on the tip, that can be kidney disorders indicated. If the moon part of the nail is red, then heart problems are a suspect. So if the moon area turns blue, then that's possible heavy metal poisoning or lung problems may be present. 
So again, if the moon area is blue, that's a possible heavy metal poisoning or lung problems present. If there are vertical ridges, that may mean an iron deficiency. If it's brittle, fragile, and ridges, all of those, that can be a lack of B vitamins. And with Young Living, we have Super B as our vitamin supplement, and Nitro, the little drink, also has liquid B vitamin in it. If you find yourself having a lot of hangnails, what does that mean? That can mean a lack of vitamins, minerals, or proteins. And we have a wonderful protein powder that you can either get deluxe chocolate flavor, which I've been really liking and rocking lately, and we also have a vanilla spice flavor, which I have tried, and it's very yummy, and I throw in all my fruit and greens. I throw in a bunch of greens. I throw in some of my vitamins in there, and I really enjoy, you know, right now I'm enjoying the chocolate. And then we also have mineral essence, which is a tincture that you can add to water um, or take straight if you're really bold and brave. <laughs> and you can get more minerals in that way. So I also learned as far as nutrition part of this that fruit makes you cute and greens make you clean. And so extra greens mean min more minerals. So if you have a mineral deficiency, you can also up your green intake. Bendable nails can indicate rheumatoid arthritis. <laughs> That's cute, you're taking notes. <laughs> hey guys. <sighs> Brittle, soft, and shiny nails without a moon. And if that separates from the nail bed, which I've seen this, I have a friend with this issue, where her nails kind of separate from the nail bed, that can indicate thyroid thyroid problems. So there is a whole bunch to get you started. I will probably do an even more in-depth one one day. And um, so again, I got these from a class that I took on Ningxia and nails and supplements. And you can also check WebMD and kind of compare the two places for some other sources on, on the different nail issues. Another thing I learned as far as nutrition when it comes to um, if you're craving sweets, like at the end of the day, that's kind of your telltale sign. If at the end of the day you're craving sweets, what could that mean? That actually could mean that you didn't get enough fruit in in the day. And then if you're craving something salty at the end of the day, it can actually mean you didn't get enough minerals and you didn't get enough greens in. So those are some other little nutrition indicators of what you might be needing. I know lots of people at the end of the day, they just want to like carb up with sweets, you know, and that just means that they're really lacking fruit. And, and so the same thing, salt, salty is lack of minerals. That's the nail piece and some of the nutrition piece. And then I know I put some nutritional things in um, the other videos, like I've been on the thyromin for not quite a year on Thyromin. That was for thyroid support. And then I've also been on Ningxia for one year. And, and then I also added in a couple months after Thyromin, I added Master Formula. So that has, like, that's my daily vitamin. So those are kind of the things I do, plus that protein powder and Ningxia. Ningxia in the morning and Ningxia in the afternoon. <laughs> Ningxia all day long. So for that energy boost and the hormone support and balance, the thyroid, um, the thyro thyromin is for the thyroid support. So one of the things you can also do, and I can post this chart, there is a chart if you ever want to try a 90 day Ningxia challenge. That's how I got started with Ningxia. I saw this posts, these posts online, and if you Google 90 Day Ningxia Challenge, you'll see all these different people's um, <laughs> reports. I'm seeing these comments. So, <laughs> um, the 90 Day Ningxia Challenge, you can do Google, Google 90 Day Ningxia Challenge, you'll see a whole bunch of people's different um, reports on what changed for them, what different body systems were supported, and it's really cool to give that a try, but also to boost and support my energy. I was 
I was crashing in the afternoons. I kept crashing in the afternoons and I had a suspicion on thyroid and I had a, sus you know, obviously the energy. So I did that 90 day challenge and I just felt so good after doing it that I decided I am going to continue on with Ningxia for, you know, the rest of my life unless the Lord tells me different. <laughs> so <laughs> I've really been enjoying that and the energy support has been awesome. The thyroid support has been awesome with thyromin. So those are some of the nutritional pieces. And there's also, I mentioned the nitro. We have the Ningxia and it comes in the bottle and the packets and then also the nitro and so Endoflex is another um, thyroid, thyroid support oil and you can place it right here on the forearms. Some people use it as a deodorant. I know a lot of friends that use these oils as their deodorant um, like purification oil or the Endoflex if they're dealing with um, needing thyroid support. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Thank you for thank you for playing along today <laughs> and joining in. So, um, of course you can purchase um of course you can purchase like just the packets or any of these things that I've mentioned tonight. You can just purchase those things. You can purchase at the regular retail price or you can do a wholesale membership, get 24% off and get a much reduced price on things. So the Ningxia, whether you buy packets, whether you buy bottles, those are all available. And it also, if you have not become a, a wholesale member yet of Young Living, we also have a Ningxia starter kit. So that kit contains, this is a tiny picture here, but let's see, two bottles and then a box of 30 packets, like the packets in the prize I've been showing, and then also a box of the nitro, which have those liquid B vitamins in it, which are great afternoon, and it's chocolatey. <laughs> um, and then it comes with, I think, yes, a stress away oil, which is like a lime vanilla copaiba dream. It smells so delicious. Different oil sample packets, sachets. So that is a starter kit. If you have never become a Young Living wholesale member or distributor, that is an option to you. Now people ask, do I have to sell things if I want to just be a wholesale member? No. You do not have to sell things. You can just enjoy the wholesale membership for yourself, whether you purchase things once a year, once a month, uh, once a quarter, it's all fine. So the minimum to stay, keep your wholesale membership at 24% off. The minimum is $50 in products. PV is the key thing we have to look at per year. So that's all you have to do is buy yourself $50 worth in PV points uh, per year and you can continue to get your discount. And then people like me <laughs> and other people I know just decide you know, we're going to get all of our good stuff from Young Living because we trust it to be chemical free. And so I do a regular ER order, Essential Rewards, it's called. And so with ER, Essential Rewards, you get 10% back in free points for free products your first three months. And then month four through 24, you will get goes up to 20% back in points. So starting at month four, and then from month 25 and on, as you stay loyal to that monthly uh, Essential Rewards program, you get 25% back in monthly points. And that's a lot of free products and free points. And there's other free products on top of that at different point values. So like if you're spending 100 a month, there's gonna be a free oil, and then up from there, 190, 250, 300. So since I like to buy all of my household cleaning products that I can get, laundry soap, um, you know, dish soap, just household cleaner, my spray that cleans everything, including my car and my mailbox, you've probably seen. I choose to get all of that. Plus I get all of my supplements that I've mentioned. I get my Ningxia Red Juice, I get my Thyromin, um, my daily vitamin, all those things, plus the oils, 
I get all those things from Young Living. So I'm at that 25% back point. So a lot of my oils I end up getting free from the ER Essential Rewards program. So that's really wonderful. I love it. I wouldn't change a thing about that. <laughs> and I encourage people to find out more and ask me about that. So if you have not become a member yet, feel free to ask me questions about that. Or even if you have become a member, you can feel free to ask me questions. So you can rewind to anything you missed about nails or anything else. Love you all. And thank you so much for joining in.